the most rewarding thing has been hearing someone say, wow, I didn't know our ELCA did that. When I hear about congregations that get engaged in doing God's work through our hands because of the stories that they have heard from mission interpreters, I see God's work in the world growing. A lot of those folks that I've seen, uh, when they finally see the, those uh, pieces coming together, when I see them understanding what's going on, and they recognize uh, the work that we as a church do together, uh, what it has done in their lives is taken them beyond just this sort of idea of church being a Sunday morning thing and, and opening their vision to how our vocation as Christians, how our calling together uh, functions in every area of our lives. There is a local congregation um, that started a garden and out of that garden they are actually providing food for four food pantries in our area. This year when we went to our spring district meeting before Synod Council, uh, the pastor and the person whose idea this was to start the garden were actually talking. By two days later, I had an email from one of the women in my congregation who had been at that meeting, and she said to me, she said, we're gonna start a garden. And it was just her enthusiasm of hearing one person just talk for 10 minutes on one topic that got her so excited. My congregation now has a garden, and it's called Pop's Garden, uh, stands for Prince of Peace, and it's really given them a momentum to look for other ways to be inspired by ministries. When they realize just what the ELC does on the local stage here in our country and on the world stage, they think that their, their dollar on Sunday morning doesn't really do anything. But when they find that out, just seeing the enthusiasm that comes out in them, and then they wanna go out into the, their own communities and do a lot of work, and that transforms into our church being seen and known out in the local communities.